Na 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 All right, sorry for the cheesy opening. Let's begin. Hi, welcome to Cybersecurity 101. I'm Mark Hemingway, content producer here at Archer Energy Solutions. Today, we're going to take a look at what is a PLC. So I know that it is called a programmable. I've got inside ChatGPT right now the question, what is a PLC? Let's find out. PLC stands for Programmable Logic Controller a digital computer used for automation and controlling machinery in various industries. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward, a programmable logic controller. All right, there's something a little familiar about this and I'm just kind of curious. I know they're two different things, but I remember the very first episode, SCADA. SCADA was involved in controlling and, I think it was controlling and something. So you know what, I'm going to ask a little question here. I want to know what's the difference between a SCADA and a PLC? Because they sound a little similar to me. I know they're not, but they seem a little bit like they're in the same family. Let's find out. SCADA, so we've already gone over that one, is a system for monitoring and controlling industrial processes. Okay, while a PLC is a hardware device used for automation and control within those processes. Okay, SCADA typically interfaces with multiple PLCs and offers a broader view of the system. Okay, so they do work together. It wasn't crazy. All right, so something about it, I was like, this feels like something I've already learned, but it's not, but they are connected, so that's cool. All right, let's dive a little bit deeper and see what do PLCs do, so basic. Okay, so here we go. So PLCs, let's see, skip it and see. Okay, they monitor sensors, make decisions, and control actuators or machinery. Okay, they manage tasks like sequencing, timing, logic, and data handling in manufacturing and automation systems. Okay, all right, well that makes a little more sense. So like everything I'm trying to figure out, what is it, cybersecurity connection? So I have here, are there cybersecurity concerns related to PLCs? Let's find out. Yes, there are significant cybersecurity concerns related to PLCs. They can be vulnerable to cyber attacks, uh, potentially leading to production disruptions, safety hazards, or data breaches. Okay. Security measures are crucial to protect them from unauthorized access and tampering. All right, so like everything, they can get in there and they can do bad things. Let's find out more about what the hacker can do. So my question here is, and since the business that I work in, we deal a lot with critical infrastructure, I'm curious as to if a hacker got access to a PLC, what could they do in the critical infrastructure environment? If they got access, they could potentially manipulate processes, okay, shut down systems, data theft, launch attacks downstream. So access to a PLC could enable attackers to pivot. and compromise other parts of the network or connected systems, all right? And then sabotage or destructive actions. So all the bad things. Okay, so in wrapping up this video, as I do in most videos, I kind of want to know what is a real life PLC incident? All right, so one real life PLC incident is the Stuxnet worm. All right, we've talked about that one. Discovered in 2010, Stuxnet was a highly sophisticated piece of malware that specifically targeted industrial control systems, including PLCs. Uh, it primarily affected Iran's nuclear program and caused significant damage. So Stuxnet was designed to manipulate PLCs, disrupting uranium enrichment centrifuges and causing physical damage to Iran's nuclear infrastructure. That has to do with, again, going into the critical infrastructure. So it got in there and it took over. So let's see what else. This incident highlighted the potential for cyber attacks on critical infrastructure through PLC vulnerabilities and raised awareness of the need for robust cybersecurity measures in industrial environments. PLCs are hackable and you get in there and you can do a lot of damage with them. So keep those guys safe and secure. Um, but good to know. 
PLCs, Programmable Logic Controllers. All right, well, thanks again for joining me on another episode of Cybersecurity 101. I'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Next Thursday, we'll have a brand new episode. In the meantime, you can check us out on our social medias, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And as always, on our YouTube channel right here listed below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and to share with your friends. As usual, please leave any comments below uh, regarding what we talked about today, the PLC. If there's anything that I didn't cover and that you think I should know, please let me know because I'm trying to learn here. I'm trying to get more informed and I'm trying to keep ChatGPT to a minimum of telling me information because otherwise it's, it's um, extensive. So thanks again and we'll see you on the next one.